Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm very, very excited about being with you here today, just a couple of days before Christmas. Today is December 23rd, it is a Friday, and this weekend, of course, is Christmas Eve and then Christmas itself. There are some traditions around the world that <clears throat> um, barely it's just another day in the world. But growing up in America, it, it's, you know, it's an important day. And my birthday is uh, in this month, so I tend to associate it also with Christmas. So for me, it's a very uh, special day. I'm very happy that all of you have joined me today. Um, today will be day five of healing ourself by serving others. And as we move further into this 21-day <clears throat> practice to transform very special and specific areas of our life, you should start to notice some significant movement in some of the blockages that you have been experiencing. And so uh, I received a comment from one of the students that has been uh, moving forward and she's been going through some significant shift uh, sadness and fear coming up, but also because of the practices, it's going away and more strength is replacing those, <clears throat> those areas of blockage. So today we have beloved Kuan Yin on this side of me. We have happy Buddha on this side of me. They'll be serving us today as well. And uh, we have so much that we are going to accomplish today. Uh, I recommend that everybody who is watching this now and everybody who is watching this uh, as a recording to please stick around because there will be a group uh, Divine Healing Hands blessing today and all of those who have received their Divine Healing Hands healer transmissions we're going to ask them to serve as well. So we're going to be getting some big blessings. So I recommend that everybody stick around for that. So this is um, <coughs> the second bedroom of my new apartment. It's my temple room, it's called. And um, it's... Uh, <laughs> the, the painting behind you literally barely fits along the walls. I think I scratched the walls uh, putting it up. But it's an uh, it's a extraordinary piece of my life. And I have explained it one time before a couple months ago. I won't go into that today. But um, these Buddhas have been blessed. Dr. and Master Shah gave a Kai Gong blessing to this image behind me and uh, so that means it's radiating light and so that's an additional blessing for everybody as we work through uh, day five of self-healing through serving others so i wanted to start out by asking all those who are coming online all those who are just tuning in to please comment <clears throat> um, on what you have noticed in these first five days um, and it doesn't have to be all wonderful. It can be, you know, I'm going through a little more struggle. Um, I've noticed this and this and that pop up, but I've been able to handle it a little bit better. Um, what has your uh, experience been in these last five days in which you were chanting to serve others? Look at your particular condition that you requested. <clears throat> has it gotten lessened or has it come to a peak, you know, like a pimple? Sometimes before that pimple can be uh, exfoliated out of our body, it has to come to a peak. And that's not so indifferent when we're working with uh, a deep spiritual practice such as this. It's important to recognize that for the old to leave, it must come to the surface first. And it's not actually that much indifferent with, with um, removing the darkness from our body. You know, I, I reckon it's similar to Mother Earth. Mother Earth is going through some significant upheaval. Uh, we have uh, just a tremendous amount of, of activity happening throughout the world. There is, I promise you, there is as much and more good than there is of the darkness that you're seeing in this world. But the problem is that the, um, the, those that have the most money and stand to, to lose the most they also have the ability to control what we see and what we're informed about. But if you tune in with your heart and if you check in and you ask God, you will find out that there is so much good, definitely more 
than there is of the unpleasantness that we see in this world today. And that's why the unpleasantness becomes more and more exposed because light exposes darkness and it cannot stay. And so it's a great opportunity to transform. So I appreciate your comments on this last five days and <clears throat> how things have been for you as you're chanting for your specific area. So I see that Becky Atkins says, I've had my normal stress uh, try and attack me. Well, in this time, I have dealt with it from the outside, if you know what I mean. I'm calm and not flying off the handle because I feel clean, so to speak. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's an excellent example of clearing the karmic blockages because the way karmic blockages show up in our world is they cause us to have knee-jerk reactions and responses. They cause us to fall into old patterns. But when we do the practices, they have less of a grip, so to speak. So Carol says, a lot of intensity of pain and darkness, trusting it's all for the highest. Okay, so continue to work with the practices. Uh, very often it is the bringing of that pimple to the head, so to speak, Carol. Um, I've, I've only seen this form of practice not work when people stop doing it. Um, or they try to resolve it on their own and they don't go to get help when they need help. Um, so it's important to make sure that you surround yourself with as highest frequencies as possible, which includes the song of love, peace, and harmony playing in your background all the time. So Dana says, uh, more focus has started to shift towards serving. That's excellent, Dana. It's a good observation. <clears throat> and thank you, Ron and Kelly, for jump both joining and sharing. Um, Kristen says, if you, uh, if you are more unified with other souls, like we're in a team kind of situation, no visible change in her condition, but she does feel peaceful and happy. And Teresa says, feeling much calmer now. Today went really well. Uh, I will know something Tuesday. Exciting for you, Teresa. I hope that job works out for you. And so this is just the beginning of changing uh, to a higher frequency. Merry and happy holidays, Master Paula. I was mostly knocked out from the previous sessions. Could not remember a thing. We'll watch recordings during the holidays. That's okay. And as you move to a higher frequency, one of the things you want to be aware of is those around us might lash out at us a little here and a little there. But one of the reasons why is because we are changing. We are not the same, quote, old person that, that reacts and responds the same old way. We are not that person anymore. As we raise our frequency, as we choose to, to work sincerely with forgiveness, as we choose um, a lighter path, and as we clear the darkness, we literally are um, foreign to those closest to us. And that sometimes includes the pets. And oftentimes because they don't know what to do with it, they don't know how to be around that person that is more light now, um, they sometimes have an unpleasant response to us. Sometimes they question what we're doing. And one of the reasons they question what we're doing is because they can't put their finger on the shift. They don't know what's going on. And if you try to explain to them that you're doing forgiveness practice, you're clearing the darkness, you're bringing in the light, you know, they may or may not accept it. Have no attachment to whatever your loved one's responses are. They accept it, beautiful. They don't accept it, that's okay too. You must remember that you're in your place on your... Um, on your soul journey, they're in their place on their soul journey. So when we uh, share about what's happening for us, and if the response is anything other than supportive, just say thank you for your, uh, your perspective and your opinions. Um, I'm grateful for that. I choose to honor myself and my journey right now, and I honor your perspective and opinion, but don't take it personally if I don't agree with it. And in that way, you you continue with a positive uh, outlook, but you don't necessarily bring harm to the environment. What happens over time as you raise your frequency, as you continue to clear the blockages through the practices, even if the others around you are, are not able to, to communicate with you in the old way that supported their old unhealthy patterns, they will uh, learn to appreciate your more loving, kind response. And so that's a big plus. So today, as indicated, is going to be a day when we're going to ask all of those that are Divine Healing Hands Soul Healers to offer a blessing as a group. And I'm going to do that uh, before we do the, uh, the chanting of Love, Peace, and Harmony. So I'm going to acknowledge all those that have joined us so far here today. 
So welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome Teresa Brown, and Dana, I've connected with you. Welcome Kathy, welcome Ginny Brown. And thank you all for hitting the share button too. Welcome Tammy, welcome CJ, Kristen, we've connected with you. Welcome Shari. Um, welcome Tawana, welcome Carol, and Ilona. Welcome Joanne, welcome Ali and Ronan. Welcome Carol, Whitney. Welcome Yvonne and Becky Atkins. Uh, welcome Jessica. And welcome Patricia. Good to see you, Patricia. Hopefully you stay the whole time. A lot of blessings will happen today. <clears throat> welcome Kathy and Leone. Welcome Pamela and Alexandra. Aloha. I'm not sure where you're from, Alexandra, but welcome. Happy to have you here. Welcome, Christina. So, thank you all for joining. Let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and then we'll move into, uh, I'll check guidance before we, we actually do any, any practices or healing, um, but we're going to move into today's practice. Maybe I'll do a special uh, soul reading for uh, Christmas and New Year's. And we'll see, uh, we'll see if there's any special messages since today is my uh, last day this week. I don't obviously do live streams on Saturday and Sunday and it's a special time. Let's see what we can get. So welcome uh, Alejandra from Portugal and Mishriam. All right, placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position with the left hand over the heart center, the right palm and hand pointed upwards, right hand pointed upwards. Close your eyes, fully connect. Dear beloved divine, the Tao, the source, original creator, we love you, honor you, respect you, deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate you, and I bow down to you. We ask that you come to be in each of our heart centers during this live stream, during this chanting, healing, and blessing practice. We ask that you assist us with blessing all of the other souls that are going through the same suffering that we are. And that as we chant for them today, we ask that you bless us in the highest and most powerful way. Dear all beings of light, serving the planet of the light side, including all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, kahunas, masters and ascended masters, Buddhas and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Krishna, beloved Ganesha, beloved Happy Buddha, Medicine Buddha, Kuan Yin, Beloved Mani Buddha, beloved all beings of light, angels, healing angels, archangels, dear our heavens, teens, guides, angels, and saints, we love you all, honor you, appreciate you all, respect you, and again, I bow down to all of you. I ask, as appropriate, that you come at this time to bless each of those on the line, each of those that will come to watch this video later. Assist each and every one of us in whatever way is most appropriate to clear our Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages, to align our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies, to your soul, hearts, mind, and bodies, to our highest soul callings. We ask that as we chant to serve others, that you assist with that process so as many souls as possible can be served today. We are extremely, extremely honored and grateful. Thank you. Dear the source of soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We invite you to turn on in every soul, every cell, every RNA, DNA, space, and smallest matter in our body. And we ask you to chant along with us as we serve other souls. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us as well. So for those that are new and they're not familiar with the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, Please just keep your eyes closed, receive the blessing. We're going to chant one or two rounds to set the energy field and invite in all the holy beings. And then we'll move forward with today's blessings. <clears throat> For those that know the songs, please join in. Lu la ha li lu la Lu la ha li lu la O ai wo shin er ling 
I run ran long ling rung her musher shang shuang ai ping an he xian shuang ai ping an he xian i love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony lula lula li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Wo ai wo xin er ling Wo ai tran ran le Wang li hing rung Her mu shur shang Shang ai ping an he xie Shang ai ping an he xie I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony <coughs> ha 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. Thank you to all of the souls that have come at this time, that have offered their healing, their blessing, their guidance, their uh, clearing of our Shen Shijing Jing blockages. Um, wow, did they come. Huge amounts of holy beings. They're all around us. <clears throat> when we call heaven, Heaven comes. It's a very simple secret that we don't comprehend and utilize enough. How did a saint become a saint? How did a Buddha, an ascended master, become a saint, a Buddha, or an ascended master? They became that because of their selfless and unconditional service. Do you think that goes away when they're in the heavenly vehicle, when they're in the soul world? Do you think they just stop serving? <laughs> no, of course not. They look for opportunities to serve. So when we ask from our hearts for them to join us, they come in the millions. Remember this because this is a soul secret. It's one of the many secrets, wisdoms, and uh, practical techniques that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to humanity. Heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. What is say hello healing? Say hello healing is call the outer souls. Ask the inner souls of our body to serve. Very simple, 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 simple teachings. And yet, we have to repeat before we grasp that the simplest way is the biggest way. <clears throat> so, uh, I was asking, should I do a flow on the nature of the um, special holidays? And I actually got no. I got that I should do a flow on what has transpired so far in these five days for all of us with this chanting. So that we understand the value of what we're doing in the serving of others and how it may be impacting us so i'm going to do a flow on that <clears throat> and i invite you i encourage all of you to um to extend this calling for these 21 days to anybody else your good friends your best friends your family members those people that you care about that have an uh, open heart open mind that that are blocked and they're willing to do whatever it takes to unblock you teach them love, peace, and harmony. You teach them forgiveness. Um, for those that just came in, uh, Kristen on her on her chat box has posted the download for this music. It's a free download. The uh, the PDF in 28 different languages, 
and of course the words that, that were just sung that are included in that PDF. So make sure that you download that. Um, so welcome Brooke, welcome Kathy, and welcome <coughs> uh, Becky and Rashna, welcome Michelle and Marianne Vinka, welcome, welcome, welcome. And everybody else that I have not uh, acknowledged, welcome, welcome, welcome Sarah. <coughs> so I'm going to do a flow at this time and I'll ask the Divine uh, or whoever wants to come through to offer us some understanding. It's I already was told it's going to be Yen Wan Ye. Yen Wan Ye is the leader of the Akashic Records, so he will uh, share at this time. <coughs> How? This is Yen Wan Ye. As the leader of the Akashic Records, it is my responsibility and my team responsibility to record thoughts, words, and actions of all human souls. There are special teams actually that are formed as an actual natural part of service oriented to others. When a person starts to move from selfishness to selflessness, this changes their aura, their auric field, much like a flower that is releasing its essence that attracts the bees it attracts those with a sense of smell it is the perfume of life so to speak and it is such with the human soul that becomes more aware of this one truth and so those that chant to serve others naturally attract to them angels, holy beings, servants of the light, because it is a frequency that they align to. It is something that they wish to support because they already understand from, their, from where they are at the significance of this movement. Each soul that wakes up to the selfless Ness, which is the birthright that you came into this world with is the same as one step closer to returning to source and of course all those who are on that path are naturally attracted like the bee to the honey flower for each of those in this practice that have been dedicating their time and focus to serve others there has been three forms of virtue that has been returned to you the first is from those who have been receiving your unconditional blessings their souls are so very grateful and they have willingly offered their virtue to you that has been collected in your Akashic record. The second is all of the deities that come for these practices. In a practice such as this group where there is a divine channel, where there is emissaries of light and greater calling power, the amount of virtue received is exponentially more. And from all of those beings that come, there is additional virtue given. The third is from your beloved divine. And this actually does not come from outside. You will be surprised to know it is actually coming from inside where the divine resides and there is a heart opening that occurs from the inside for each of you this heart opening is in karma cleansing so to speak 
because a heart cannot open unless virtue is present and so each time each of you do a service of this nature the virtue that is coming both from outside and inside of you is in essence sloughing off the darkness that is inhibiting your ability to fully embrace your true soul service true soul self in this life I trust that this information will be well received so that you can start to understand the nature of selflessness the nature of service to others and the great great return that is a natural aspect of this most common and unheralded universal law it is my great honor to offer you this significant wisdom at this time this is yan wan ye how 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 thank you yan wan ye bow my head to yan wan ye nine times yan wan ye is uh, one of my spiritual fathers thank you yan wan ye not not <laughs> not something i actually looked forward to was the, the leader of the Akashic Records, the guy that records every thought, every word, every action, and he's the spiritual father. So that means all my mistakes are recorded, no question about it. But, you know, purification, it's a good thing. So thank you, Christina, uh, for joining in your comments. Welcome. <coughs> Welcome, Dawn. So that was a really, a truly beautiful message from Yen Monet. It helps us to have a much, much deeper understanding that our true purpose is not about, um, you know, it's, it's not about just work, 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 come home, suffer, suffer, suffer. When we take the time to uh, give some time towards others in that course of that day, then we can make significant strides in our life. I have to... Uh, I have to clear the blockages in the phone and the, and the signal. Give me a minute. Okay. I had to clear the blockages in the phone and the signal. It's still I'm going to take a few more minutes. Ask Kevin to help me clear it. So um, I see a few comments here. Ruth, welcome Ruth. Uh, Rajna says she lost her dog at the age of 14. Please send blessings for a soul journey. Um, Ruth, you're going to invite, remember to invite the soul of your dog in when we do the Divine Healing Hands blessing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'll initiate a blessing that all of us will receive today. And everybody who is a divine healing hand soul healer please work with me in this invocation uh, our first healing should be to my phone and the wireless system so it stops hiccuping <laughs> well we're going to receive a blessing now now if you're not a divine healing hand soul healer please just receive the divine healing hands healers will also receive will also make a request for ourself but this is our opportunity to serve. So we're all going to do a forgiveness practice together. You're going to choose the one thing in your life that you would like a blessing for at this time. If you're new and you're not so sure that you understand this or how it works, I recommend you choosing something that is measurable. If you're having significant, severe emotion, okay, you can measure that. You'll definitely feel a difference. Otherwise, try to figure a body part, something like that that's in pain. Um, then you'll notice a difference. Uh, for those that are familiar with this kind of blessing and are happy to receive and they're not doing too bad, I recommend you receive it for the, uh, the continued transformation of the one subject you chose in the 21 day challenge. And for those that are new to this, I'll cover the 21, challenge, 21 day challenge a little bit more in just a few minutes. Okay, so let's do a forgiveness practice first. 
and then I will guide the divine healing hands healers to turn on their transmission to serve everybody. So repeat after me. Dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, dear creator, all beings of light that are present, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, deeply honored and respectful that you are here with us today. Dear all souls in this and all lifetimes, if I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to you, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, in business, or in relationship, I sincerely, sincerely apologize for any harm or suffering that we might have brought to you. Truly, I do not wish to bring harm or suffering to any soul ever again, and I have learned my lessons. I deeply apologize for any suffering you may have experienced. I ask for your unconditional forgiveness. And I offer you my unconditional forgiveness to all souls, all exes, all, all, all co-workers, all husbands, wives, all souls, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. I do not wish to hold grudge, anger, or hatred, anything negative, because I do not wish to repeat in my future lives. I release every soul unconditionally of their karmic debt to me. Now, for those of you that have blockages around that, that's okay. You do the best you can. We continue to clear until you start to realize the cyclical nature of things. <clears throat> continue. For all those now that are ready to receive healing, just relax, sit up straight, put your feet flat on the floor, bring your back away from the back of the chair unless you're in significant pain and suffering, then make sure you remain comfortable. Touch your tongue gently on the roof of your mouth. I like to keep mine right near the front of my teeth. It's very relaxed there. Prepare to receive. At this time, all souls, all of us, make our request to heaven for what we would like a blessing for. Also, if you have a measurable thing, uh, and maybe you're newer, measure it. Is it a 5 out of 10 scale? What is it? And then you'll be able to measure it at the end. Okay, everybody make the request at this time. Oh, everybody receive the Divine Healing Hands healers. Let's do this invocation together. Dear my Divine Healing Hands, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please turn on. Please, as appropriate, offer a Divine Healing Hands blessing to all those that are watching. Please offer this blessing for their request as appropriate. And if you were taught as a Divine Healing Hand Sealers, the other internal mantra that you say about protection, please say that. And we, and we invite our light wall protection to please turn on. We will offer this blessing for five minutes. Everybody keep their eyes closed, visualizing golden light in the area of request. If it was a general request, such as relationship, finances, etc., visualize golden light in your heart center. Blessings begin. Let us chant love, peace, and harmony at the same time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula. La li lu la lu la ha li lu la <coughs> lu la ha li lu la wo ai wo xin er ling wo ai tran ren lei 
王陵容，和睦世上，双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li lu la, lu la ha li lu la, lu la ha li lu la. 我爱我心儿灵，我爱土人人类，望林荣，耳目世上，双爱平安和谐，双爱。平安和谐 ，I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love. Peace and harmony. For all those that have just joined us, if you are a divine healing hand soul healer, please turn on your divine healing hands and offer a blessing as appropriate to all those that are watching. You may also make a request yourself. Remember to turn on your protection. <clears throat> Let us continue. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. 我爱我心儿灵。我爱春人里，望灵荣，耳目世上，双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la, lu la li lu la. 我爱我心儿灵，我爱春人类，望灵荣，耳目世上
Shong I ping on her she, Shong I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. <clears throat> Everyone continue to keep your eyes closed. All Divine Healing Hands healers, please ask your Divine Healing Hands transmission to return. We will continue to offer our service now. So all souls repeat after me. Dear all souls who are suffering for the same condition as me. List the condition that you need the greatest blessings for. For those doing the 21 day challenge, stay with your same condition. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. I am going to chant to serve you. I invite all of you to come at this time to do a forgiveness practice with me and to chant love, peace, and harmony with me to serve others. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of all of my ancestors, I love you. Could you please come? You have given me both good karma and bad karma to deal with in this lifetime. Please join me in chanting to serve others. I am very grateful. <clears throat> and so, as we chant, I want you to visualize millions of people, millions of souls, who are suffering for the one condition that you wish to transform. See them lined up, millions of people right out in front of you. Maybe they have back pain, maybe they have depression, maybe they have relationship blockages. See them now. They all now move into one line right behind each other. One long line, a million people long. And now they can press all of those people into the one soul standing in front of you. They're all in there. And you will offer your blessings as you chant for all of those millions of souls. If it is a body part, visualize golden light in that body part. If it is relations, finance is something that's not specific, visualize golden light in their heart center. Let us now chant love, peace, and harmony for an additional 10 minutes with all of our heart to serve other souls for the same condition that you are suffering from. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai chuan ren le, wan ling rong er mu shi shang, shang ai ping an er xie, shang ai ping an er xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Visualize these souls. You know their suffering. Feel empathy. You know how much they're suffering because you 
have a similar suffering. So send them your greatest love when you chant. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo-ai-wo-shin-er-ling-wo-ai-trun-ran-lay I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. <coughs> Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo I wash in Erling, Wo I trod Ranley, Wong Li Hing Rung, Her Musher Shang, Shang I ping on her shin, Shang I ping on her shin. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. <coughs> Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo I wash in Erling, Wo I trun ran lay, Wong Li Hing Rong, Her Musher Shang, Shong I ping on her Shong I ping on her I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Two more times. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. 
。我爱我心儿灵，我爱纯然泪，望灵人耳目失声。双爱平安而现，双爱平安而现。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not vibrating right now, then you've got more blockages to clear. This was an extremely, extremely powerful, powerful blessing, followed following the Divine Healing Hands blessing. For those that are not familiar with the Divine Healing Hands, <coughs> uh, Kristen has posted a link for you to become more familiar with it. And if you'd like to become a miracle healer, then you want to look into becoming a divine healing hands healer. So um, I want to release a Christmas uh, offer that I wanted to make available to everybody, uh, both for yourself or a loved one or a pet. You could also offer this to someone who has crossed over, someone who has passed on already, <coughs> um, children. And there are different layers of blessings. One is called a soul operation, and there is another that uses a very high treasure that I have. It's called a um, divine master healer teacher healer soul. I rarely use that one. Uh, but it's extraordinarily powerful and I want to combine these two treasures to offer a blessing the honor fee for them individually is 75 and 75 I'm going to offer a blessing for both collectively for the one honor fee of 75 so instead of 150 it's basically half this is my Christmas and New Year special I will leave it open between now and the end of the year uh, so do let me know before the 31st if it's something of interest to you. You can request for anything, uh, a physical condition, uh, emotional blockage. You want to open your heart and soul more. You want to clear a blockage between you and a significant other. You want to clear a blockage between you and a coworker. You want to clear a blockage between you and a parent. Um, you want to bless your children's intelligence. Hey, this is a big one for children's intelligence. Uh, maybe you want to bless your pet. Um, the hips are a little bit slow, or you want to uh, them to receive a blessing for longevity. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration, and I need. Um, I'm going to do this demonstration if she is still watching. If she hasn't gone to sleep, for Joanne. Joanne, please let me know if you are still watching. You've had significant pain in your back. <clears throat> so if you're watching, you are, oh, I see your pop-up, she's here. Okay, so Joanne, tell us your pain level right now from zero to 10 for your back problem. And everybody else, you can comment, by the way, on this experience for you. I see CJ. Wow, what a beautiful feeling. Thank you so much. Um, so waiting, Joanne, for your comment on your back pain level. Also check your mobility uh, for yourself so you know where <clears throat> the back pain initiates. How, 
how far can you lean backward forward side to side before it kicks in or becomes more more advanced okay so prepare to receive Joanne now what she's going to receive is called a soul operation this is one of the two blessings you'll receive I will also use separately a separate blessing from my divine master healer teacher healer soul and to offer uh, that I'll be offering that blessing it'll be a full 10 minute blessing um, and I tell you it's, it's very powerful I'm just gonna do a soul operation for Joanne that should be sufficient for her for her back pain <clears throat> but it will give you the idea now this uh, it doesn't matter if it's a physical pain what this works on it works on everything but and the reason it works on everything for all those that are newer is because uh, the blockages that are being removed are karmic and karma affects relationship karma affects finances karma affects every area of our life so when I offer blessing it's not for pain it's for the karmic implications that are causing that blockage okay so she's indicated that she has a 6 on a 10 scale pain so prepare to receive Joanne sit up straight uh, feet flat on the floor relax your shoulders bring your palms relaxed over your lower abdomen keep your tongue touched to the roof of your mouth and repeat after me Joanne dear all souls and this in all lifetimes if I have brought any form of harm or suffering pain to your spine spinal column your back I deeply humbly and sincerely sincerely deeply humbly and sincerely apologize I ask from my heart that you forgive me that as master Paul offers this blessing as the divine releases the virtue I ask that you accept this blessing this virtue I will do better I will serve more I will not make the same mistakes again thank you thank you thank you and to all these souls that are causing me this pain I forgive you unconditionally I understand you may be reminding me of a suffering I have brought to others and I am grateful for this reminder I release you of any karmic debt that you have to me prepare to receive Soul operation for Joanne as appropriate for the specific pain that she is experiencing in her back wherever it resides blessing as appropriate blessing begin soul operation cut open so as I am doing this blessing the area has been cut open with divine light there is literally a column of light that opened from heaven over Joanne's head it has run through her entire body and as I'm moving my hands the light is dispersing the darkness along her spinal column there is Shen Qi and Jing blockages some of them are mindset related some of them are uh, judgments and criticisms towards others uh, there's uh, some guilt in there as well something about an animal I believe there is definitely suffering caused by wrong choices both her and her ancestors have made in different lifetimes these souls have come to remind Joanne and they are literally are formed a line and they are they're uh, bowing down to the divine because the divine's doing this service and they're receiving their virtue the picture they're showing me is almost like somebody sitting at a table and handing them a sack of gold and then they they say thank you and then they move on uh, but what's really occurring is their virtue the debt is being paid so to speak heaven is pouring in um, tremendous amounts of light into this area <clears throat> and it's 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 leaving messages of love and peace and harmony in the um, the cells in the matter 
and ligaments and joints is still going through a restructuring right now. Not quite there yet. Okay. Now I'm closing the uh, opening of the light for her um, spiritual body, suturing, smoothing over. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So please get up and walk around for uh, about a minute or so, Joanne, and then uh, sit back down and measure your, your pain, measure your flexibility, and then share with us what the results were, okay? <clears throat> so for, for all of those that are newer, uh, I am doing a 21-day challenge. We started it a couple of days ago. Yours can start today. And I have decided that I am going to continue to serve everyone for these 21 days. And so that will carry into January most likely uh, because it's a very um, kind of a heavy time of year for, for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of, a lot of uh, blockages, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, you name it. And it's important to chant in a group. It's extremely important to to as much as possible be present to this live stream or watch the video and chant with the group as if it was live because you know there's no such thing as time and space in heaven it's all now and so when you're watching this at a later date you are in the now you are receiving the same amount of blessings as somebody that's live and so it's important to be consistent though with this for those that are new it's twice a day doing a forgiveness practice. It's not about using the same words Master Paul used. It's, and I can, I'm happy to send you more specific forgiveness practices. You send me your email, I'll send you the, or, or a, a Facebook message me and I can drop in uh, PDFs for forgiveness practices. But the honest part of it is, it doesn't have to be those words. It just needs to be, I deeply, 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 humbly and sincerely apologize. Heaven knows your heart. That's what they're most interested in. Okay? And so when you chant to serve others, for those that tuned in a little bit late, uh, Yen Wan Ye, the leader of the Akashic Records, came and offered a, a beautiful message on what happens when we serve others. It was an amazing message. I recommend, if you didn't hear that, to go back a little ways before we started doing the healing <coughs> to hear that. And, um, but by joining these 21 days, you could transform a major significant blockage area in your life. And one of the key kingpins to the success of this is that we're chanting to serve others with the same condition. That is one of the keys to this. So when we chant as a group, much, much higher blessings. Okay, Joanne, come on back. Share with us how you're feeling, what's going on. <clears throat> oh, wow, the pain's like a two now. Wonderful, great sharing. So we, and she's had this uh, a couple of days. I remember commenting a couple of days ago, I checked in with her yesterday. She said it's, uh, you know, it was still there. She re-exacerbated it. <clears throat> and so she's in the UK. Um, it's about one in the morning over there. So 12 hours away, about six to 8,000 miles away. I'm here moving my hands on a video screen and her pain diminishes dramatically. Did Paul do that? The answer is no. Paul is just a regular Joe. I turned on a healing transmission. I received the healing transmission from Dr. and Master Shah. He received the power and authority to do healing of this nature from Creator. He is a servant to humanity. Who do you think uh, brought the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to humanity? To bring love, peace, and harmony to all souls. That's who Dr. and Master Shah is. So learn more about this teacher, drshah.com, drsha.com. I am one of about a hundred divine channels that have served uh, diligently somewhere between five and 15 years to get to the space where we can be unconditional servants like this. So Rena, I see that you want to be healed too. Do the 21 day challenge. If you want to receive the soul operation and the follow up 10 minute blessing from my divine uh, uh, master he teacher healer soul, I tell you that blessing is significant for $75. It's significant. I hope I hope some of you take advantage of it. Um, you can contact me through Facebook Messenger. My email is a soul healer. You know, everyone has a soul. A soul healer at yahoo.com. <clears throat> and so feel free to contact me. 
Um, but I'll keep this open through the end of the year. Uh, and then um, uh, it's, it's just too, too, too much virtue, too much giving for that. I have to close it after that. So let me know. Again, that can be for you, loved ones, children, someone that's crossed over, pets, children, and uh, just about anything. Okay, so I'm deeply grateful for this opportunity to serve you today. Thank you for your uh, willingness to be um, a demonstration person today, Joanne. I'm happy. Uh, I'm guessing that your two will go down to a one and a zero as you continue to walk around. Please let us know. And um, do the 21 Shade Challenge. Remember, two forgiveness practices, chanting love, peace, harmony twice a day, 15 minutes. Um, so during this weekend, continue to chant to serve others. For those that, that are not familiar with the chant, remember, just look at the chat guidelines. Kristen has posted the MP3, the, uh, uh, the document PDF to download the words. Everything is here, all right? Have a wonderful Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas Eve. I will see you back here on Monday the 26th. I love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye, everybody. Gong song, gong song, gong song.